Hello guys, and here's a quick little tip that I'm going to be giving you today in the first episode of my small tutorials. Um, the reason being that this is all set up is because I just recorded an actual full-blown tutorial and found out that my recording software had crashed. So yeah, I'm just going to talk you through what I actually did, which is probably good because on the video I made quite a few mistakes. So pretty much, you, you know what this is, this is a nuclear reactor. It's full with all your uranium cells and these ice blocks which I'll come to in a second. So here we have it. We have a condenser, this is the condenser, and a collector. This works with Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3 because you're condensing blocks worth 1 AMC. You're gonna, what you want to do is you want to stick an ice in the corner, fill this with ice, then you're going to get a, a filter and a pneumatic tubes, uh, well a pneumatic tube, pneumatic tubes, whatever and you're going to want to pipe them from the filter to the actual, sorry about that noise, uh, to the actual nuclear reactor. Before you actually put your your, fill, your your timer down, you're going to want to put all your uranium cells in to fill it up. Um, as you can see, before you actually put your uranium cells in, you're going to want to put this lever and then make sure it's in the downward position, otherwise they'll just start reacting and then things will just blow up, which is not good. That also happened in a previous video that I attempted to make. <laughs> so um, yeah, once you've done that, you've, you've got your uranium cells in, then you're going to want to place your timer down, and that's going to chuck loads of 64 block, uh, 64 block fingers in. As you can see, it's, uh, okay, that's not, a, that's not an MSF here, is it? So this is what I would say is the best reactor core and the best reactor setup. So we're going to switch it on. Right, ice is chucking into it. As you can see, these ice blocks will go down one every now and again as the reactor starts to heat up, and then the filter will just throw ice straight back in. I do warn you, use pneumatic tubes on this cell just because of the amazing lo overflow logic. So yeah, we've got high voltage cable which leads us into a high voltage transformer and then into a MSFU. MFSU. Did I say that right? Yeah. Well, in the MFSU, we've got our power and as you can see it's building at a phenomenal rate. Just so that's it, that's pretty much it. It it'll, well, once you've made the actual pass, it'll take you 10 minutes. You don't need to bother with all the big fancy glass box and then the water pouring down on the reactor. I mean, I'll show you what happens if you pour water, it'll make it a bit cooler, but it doesn't, nothing too amazing. So yeah, I've set up this, this little screen that'll tell me everything about the reactor, which I will be showing in the next tutorial, if you decide to carry on watching. So, yep, we're on, which is a good start. As you can see, the temperature is going up to around 230, 236, often, it never goes any more as 270 unless I've made a mistake, um, which is good because the max heat is 60k, which is so, I'm pretty doing alright there. So what we're actually outputting here is 1970 EU per tick, which is brilliant. I think the most you can react with a reactor well, well, is about 2100 and something, so we're doing alright. Um, that's done by removing this one of these ice blocks and putting a new, another uranium cell there, but it's nowhere near as stable as it is. So we can see, with reactors it's all about keeping it cool, I'll just show you how much it actually affects just by adding water to the top. It won't be pretty, but why not? Water, so we're going to want a source. So... No! Oh, I've placed it on the wrong block, flipping out, just my luck, there we go. Shouldn't do too much. As you can see, it's just gone and broke that. <laughs> Right, so we need another lever. Alright, uh, wash the lever off. Right, we're back up. So, see, it goes down, it stops at 170 rather than going into the 200s. Which I suppose is alright, but 200's not going to do anything. Well, there you have it. That's pretty much it, without trial and error. I do apologise if there's been any audio or um, render lag issues. It's because of, I've got a bad computer and I haven't recorded in a while. <laughs> Well, anyways, please like, subscribe, 
and on the next tutorial video I'll be showing you how to set up these little green screens that have everything to do with your reactor on them. Also, there's some other neat stuff in future tutorials. So if you, if, if you want to see these, like, subscribe, and yeah, it all helps. Thanks a lot. Cheers guys. Bye!